do my eyes deceive me? I thought for a second that I just saw someone here at my wedding who certainly doesn't belong one bit. I thought for just a brief moment that I saw some dirty little poor person who had snuck into my wedding even though they really should know better. Um, well, you're sending these messages to me, so I guess I can only assume I'm who you're referring to, right? Unless you're saying there's another sad, poor person here just like me. Maybe we could go and look for them together, and then I could have a friend at this wedding. Wouldn't that be nice? Are you acting stupid, or are you really just this dense? Of course I'm talking about you. Who else would I even be talking about? <laughs> and I can't believe you actually just admitted that you were poor, but... I guess that means at least you know your place. So good for you. I thought that all poor people like you were too stupid to be aware of who they were. So at least you have that going for you. Oh, well, it would be kind of hard for me to forget what with how often you're always reminding me of it. So I guess I have you to thank for telling me just how poor I am. I mean, I never once really thought of myself as poor before, but then I met you and you made sure to put me in my place. So I'm just so grateful that I've had the chance to be told over and over and over again about how I'm a poor nobody. Well, I'm surprised that you had never been able to figure it out yourself. After all, everyone else was thinking it. I suppose it really was just a matter of time. <laughs> I mean, don't you think it's just a little bit sad? Your brother is going to become a doctor and you only have a high school diploma. I guess Michael must have gotten all the brains in the family, huh? Meanwhile, you got... Well, I don't think you really got anything, if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, you are right about that. I was never really good at studying in school when I was a student. I think everyone around me always saw that maybe I just wasn't cut out for a system like that. And because of that, even though I was the older sister, it always felt a bit strange being there for all of Michael's accomplishments. Aw, I'm sure it did. You probably felt like your life had barely even started, and yet you were already being completely overshadowed by your brother, I bet. <laughs> well, I just thought that you might be able to sympathize with me on the point, given that you're unemployed and all that. Excuse me? And just what is that supposed to mean, huh? Is that supposed to be a dig on me? Well, <laughs> nice try, but those kinds of insults aren't going to work on me. Unlike you, I simply don't have to work, and that's why I don't have a job. It's really just that simple. But if you really must know, even when I was working, I always got high marks for my performance and was a model employee. So it's not like I can't, I just choose not to. Wow, that's amazing! That really is so cool that you wanted to give up a career in financial independence all because you're getting married! I know what you're getting at, but like I already told you, it simply won't work on me. Because at the end of the day, I know that you're just a sad, poor, stupid little poor person who doesn't have an ounce of the work experience that I do. So I suppose even trying to explain why I do the things I do to someone like you is really just pointless, isn't it? Anyways, there's actually something that I wanted to ask of you. A little favor, if you will. Really? You want to ask me a favor? Well, please, by all means, tell me what it is. I mean, I'm just dying to do anything you ask of me as a lowly poor person. Well, good. I'm glad that you understand your place is to do as you're told by your superiors. But I was wondering if I could ask you to not sit at the table reserved for family. You don't want me to sit at the table where the rest of our family is going to be sitting? I don't really know if you understand what you're asking. After all, you do know that I'm basically all the family that Michael has left, don't you? And sitting at the table for a wedding is important since it represents the two families that are being tied together as one through the wedding. Well, that's exactly the issue. You see, if everyone at the table realizes that the only family that Michael has is you... <laughs> Well, I'm just afraid that my family will start to apply all of the negative things about you to Michael and start judging him for his sister. Do you understand? Oh, don't worry about that. I've already made plans to rent a really pretty dress for the wedding. I know that I may not be a person of high standing or class, but I promise to at least look like one for the wedding. Surely you can grin and bear through my presence at the table while you're standing up on the altar with Michael, right? 
You really expect me to trust that you know how to pick a dress that would be good enough for the kind of wedding that Michael and I are going to have? I seriously doubt that you would know what good taste was if you got hit upside the head with a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> Anyways, I don't care how good you could make yourself look. The fact of the matter is that the moment you opened your mouth, everyone would realize what an uneducated little street urchin you were. I mean, do you even know in what order you're supposed to be using the forks and knives when there are more than one of them by the plate? Do you even know how to use a fork and knife, period? Or do you just eat with your hands and then savor the flavor left on your fingers like some kind of Neanderthal? Oh, don't worry. I think I know that one at least. You use the knife to do the cutty bits, and then you use the fork when you need to poke things, right? Wow, don't pop a blood vessel in your head trying to keep that straight, okay? But like I said, you are not going to be eating at the family table. Instead, I thought that we would just put you outside in the hall with a plate of food. That way you'll be away from everyone else and can make all the mess you want. Doesn't that sound nice? You mean you would really have me eat in the hallway at my own brother's wedding? Of course. I mean, the fact of the matter is that no one at the wedding is going to want to eat with you anyways, though. I'm sorry, but you just aren't going to fit in with all the fancy and well-dressed people who are going to be coming to the wedding, and I think that you just have to accept that. Nobody even wants to see you at the wedding, let alone share a table and talk with you. I see. Well, then maybe the least you could do is let me just sit cross-legged in the aisle and eat there instead of in the hallway. I mean, I'm quite small and don't take up that much space anyways. Surely that would be okay, right? No, because I am telling you that people don't even want to see you at the wedding. The less you can be in the back of people's minds, the better. It's best if you just wouldn't come at all, really. But since that isn't going to happen, we just have to make arrangements so that the least number of people know that you even exist. Besides, what would you even do at a table with other people? It would be a total waste for you. I doubt that you even know how to talk to upper-class people like us. You're telling me that you're really serious about this? Even though I came all the way here to be present for my brother's wedding? You're really not even going to let me sit at the family table just because you have some weird person grudge against me? Now, now, Ren, I think you're forgetting something very, very important here. It's not just Michael's wedding, it's also my wedding. You do realize that, don't you? And everyone knows that on the day of a wedding, the wife is far more important than the husband in terms of trying to appease her. And as my future sister-in-law, that should mean that you wanted to do everything to give me what I want today, right? Well, I guess you're not exactly wrong about any of what you've just said. But still, I can't help but feel like this isn't exactly fair. Well, all I'm saying is that if we look at who's invited who, then I think you'll find that you have to agree with me. I have so many people here from my side of the family and who I've invited here, right? Meanwhile, you and your brother are basically it as far as Michael's side goes, which pretty much means that all of the wedding gifts and cash that we get are going to be from my guests, right? Well, again, I guess that's a point that I can't really refute exactly. That's right. So those are just more reasons why it's just better for everyone if you are neither seen nor heard or talked about at all. I mean, if people know that you're Michael's sister, then they're going to start asking where the rest of the family is, don't you think so? So basically, you are going to save everyone a lot of hassle if you just stay in the hallway and out of our way. I see. Well, I guess if you really feel that strongly about me doing that, then I don't really have any choice in the matter, do I? That's more like it. Although you really should have just listened to me and agreed with me in the first place. We would have saved so much time. Hey, Ren. Really sorry to bug you in the middle of my wedding. I'm sure you have a good reason for what you were doing, but why are you in the hallway right now? Did I miss something? I mean... I think that the hallway is for the staff to use and less the wedding guests like you, you know? Michael? Did you really see me in the hallway? What were you doing out there? What's going on with the wedding and the ceremony? Well, that's just it. I was waiting for things to start and realized that you weren't anywhere to be seen, so 
I came out to come and look for you. I mean, I thought that you were going to give a speech today, so I didn't want you to be absent for that, you know? And then that's when I heard that someone mentioned one of the guests in the hallway, and I came to find that it was you. But, I mean, this is what you wanted me to do, isn't it? Sorry, what? You think that I want you to be sitting out in the hallway? What are you talking about? I just... Well, I didn't want to embarrass you. I didn't want people to be asking about why I was the only guest that you invited to your wedding. I'm sorry, but I'm still kind of confused. Why would I even care about that? Where's all of this coming from right now? I mean, it's not like it doesn't make any sense to me, you know? I understand it. After all, you're a doctor and making tons of money, and I'm barely making enough to get by. I'm just a poor moron, let's face it. I don't belong at your wedding with all those fancy people. I wouldn't even know what to talk about with them. Wait a second, Ren. Are you serious? I'm really sorry that that's bothering you so much right now, but I hope you know that I don't care about any of that. I mean, you're my older sister, and that's the only thing that matters to me. Why on earth would I be embarrassed to have a sister like you? I love you, you know that? Just where did you even get this idea that I would be embarrassed to have you at my wedding in the first place? Well, Lisa told me that you were talking about how embarrassed you were going to be having me at your wedding. Did Lisa really say that to you? Yeah, she basically made me feel like you were thinking all of this, but were just being too kind to tell me. But d don't worry. I really don't need you to worry about me at all. I'm totally fine, I swear. I know that I need to stay out of your way and just let the wedding go on undisturbed. Lisa... I don't really know any other way to make this more clear, but if Lisa really said all that to you, then she has no idea what she's talking about at all. I mean, I'm certainly not embarrassed by you, and I want you at my wedding more than any other guest here. In fact, I'm proud to have you as my sister, and I want everyone to know. But that isn't what Lisa said to me at all. Ren, if I really felt that way about you, then why would I even invite you to the wedding in the first place? I mean, if you being here was really going to embarrass me, which it isn't at all, then why would I even go through the trouble of having you here? Just doesn't add up, right? But what I'm most concerned about is why on earth Lisa would even say something like that to you. I mean, what could she have been thinking? And now here I am, already throwing wrenches into your wedding. I know that you mean well by saying all of this to me, but I want you to know that I really am sorry for ruining your wedding like this. Rin. You didn't do anything wrong, okay? It's Lisa who is in the wrong here, and I'm not going to let her get away with this. Hey there, Ren. I was just curious if you were enjoying the plate that I had sent out to you in the hallway. Was it nice sitting on the floor and eating your meal like that? <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you so, so much for asking. The food was just great, yeah. You guys really didn't skimp at all on the catering. Well, I want you to know that I really am sorry about earlier, you know, what with the me ripping up your dress like that. <laughs> oh, so you did do it on purpose then. I had thought that you might have. I mean, I was pretty surprised when you suddenly flew out into the hall just to try and rip apart the clothes that I was wearing. Well, thankfully, it wasn't like it was even a nice dress to begin with, right? I mean, could you imagine if someone tried to do that to an actually nice dress like mine? But don't worry, I promise that I'll buy you something actually nice and worth wearing at some point in the future. And just where are you right now? I popped my head out into the hall to see if you were still there and I couldn't see you. Oh, right. Well, that's because I just stepped away to go and use the bathroom, that's all. Still, though, you really just should have known better, don't you think? I mean, did you really think that you belonged at a place like this? Don't you realize that you're an outsider? Nobody wants you here, huh? Half the reason I wanted you out in the hall was so that the people at the table wouldn't have to be subjected to sitting with you. How dare you treat the person to whom I owe so much like that? Excuse me? What are you talking about right now? Who are you even talking about? I don't get it, Lisa. Do you really have no idea at all what you've done? I mean, you really chased my sister out of our own wedding and are making her sit out in the hall? What is the matter with you? What is the matter with me? I know that you can't really be serious about that, right? I mean, didn't you see the way that she was dressed? 
I was talking to her earlier and she was telling me all about how she had gone out and gotten some fancy dress to wear to our wedding, but she showed up in rags. Surely you must have noticed that too, right, Michael? You don't really think she was dressed up nicely for the wedding, do you? Wait a second. Let me try and get this straight then. Are you telling me that the reason you kicked my own sister out of our wedding was because you didn't like her dress? But I just... Of course that wasn't the only reason. There's also the fact that your sister just wouldn't fit in. I mean, what would she even talk to other people there about? I just... You know what I mean, don't you? Do you really think that your sister fits in with the guests that I've invited at all? What do you mean? Why does it matter if she fits in? It's not a social club or something. It's our wedding and everyone here is here for us. Right, but I just mean that she only has her high school diploma. Don't you see how she would just totally clash with the atmosphere of the wedding? Surely you can see the point I'm trying to make here, right? What on earth are you talking about? Do you really think that you need a break? I don't even know what to say to you. But I was just trying to think of you. And when it seemed like Ren was finally starting to listen to what I had to say, she finally seemed to give in when I told her this was what you wanted. And you didn't think that I would be upset over you lying to my sister for my sake? But, I mean, I thought that you and Ren didn't even get along all that well to begin with. You guys haven't even seen each other for years before this, isn't that right? That's only because Ren lives and works so far away. It isn't that I don't want to talk to her or see her or anything like that. We've talked about this. But I really did think that it was because you two didn't get along. Well, that isn't the case at all. I mean, I owe her so much, actually. You know that Ren and I were only raised by mom until I was in middle school when she died? After that, my sister had to take on all of mom's duties and give up her dreams just to take care of us both. She raised me all the way until I finished high school. Oh. Well, I guess that I just never really realized fully. Well then, well, I don't see how that can be when I explain this to you over and over again. Or was I in the wrong for thinking that you were actually listening to what I was saying? No, it isn't like that at all, I swear to you. I just, I guess I just forgot with so much going on about the wedding, but I remember you saying all of that now. Don't lie to me, Lisa. I know that you're only remembering because I'm saying it now. But now I see that in spite of all of that, you're just throwing out my sister because you don't like her. Please, you have to believe me. It isn't like that at all. Do you know what? I don't think that I can do this. The wedding is off. I'm going to take Ren and we are going home. Wait, no, please don't go. I'm begging you. You have to rethink this, Michael, please. I've changed my mind. Your sister can be in our wedding. Tell her to come in. Please, I've changed my mind. It's okay. I really don't mind at all. You can't just call off the wedding. <laughs> Ren, are you there? I just wanted to let you know that I've done a lot of thinking about it, and I think I want you to be at the wedding after all. Oh, really? You mean it? What changed for you? And here I was getting used to sitting out here. It was nice and quiet, and the staff keep the floor here so clean. It's great, actually. N no, please... We can't have my sister-in-law out in the hallway. You have to come inside. I insist. Please, I think that you and Michael and I all just need to sit down and talk a bit. Hold on a second. Don't tell me that Michael got mad at you about this, did he? Wait, I don't... How did you know that? Well, Michael actually stepped out in the hallway earlier. He asked me what I was doing out here, and when I explained it to him, he got really mad. I had a feeling that he might have done something, but I get the feeling that you're taking the brunt of his anger right now. No, it's nothing like that at all, honestly. I just... Well, I mean, you're my husband's sister, so since we're going to be family, obviously you should be there for the wedding. Please, I was so stupid to even ask you to sit out there. Yeah, I mean, I don't really understand why you thought it was a good idea to do that either. What do you mean? Well, obviously the groom is going to get upset if you're throwing his family out of the wedding. Obviously, I don't mind obliging you, but I guess because I did, Michael finally realized the kind of person you really are. So I guess that's one good thing to come out of this. Oh, wait a second. Is this really Lisa I'm talking to right now? That's right. It's your poor, stupid sister-in-law, Lisa. But I guess if I'm the stupid one, then that just begs the question of what you are. 
I guess that's exactly what Michael is finding out right now, though. Wait, so you were just pretending to be stupid this whole time? I wouldn't say pretending so much as I just wanted to see how long you would really think I was going to go along with everything you were saying. But then, what about the dress? Did you really pick a dress that ugly on purpose? I will say that you got me there. I did choose that dress knowing that you were going to pick on me for it. But I didn't think you would go so far as to attack me over it. Then you tricked me! I don't believe it! Well, I guess you have no choice now that Michael tells me the wedding is off. Thank goodness is all I can say, though. I would hate to be a part of your family and you mine. Wait, uh, just hold on for a second. I mean, I know that I might have overreacted a little, but I really do love Michael, and I really do want to get married to him. I see. And you thought that throwing me out in the hallway was going to be good for that? In fact... I actually heard a bit about the drama that was unfolding inside the wedding hall earlier. What do you mean? You really heard all that? Well, it was hard not to when I was sitting out in this quiet hall. But man, your dad was really laying into you. I bet every single guest at your wedding heard what he was saying. Going on and on about how you were so close to marrying a doctor and you screwed it all up. He even said that he bought a new car because he was hoping to rope my brother into helping him pay for it. And then he told you that you were going to have to help him pay it off instead. No, that didn't have anything to do with our wedding at all. Please, you have to help me. I really wasn't after Michael's money at all. But it's true that you do have a lot of debt, don't you? Are you telling me that your plan wasn't to have my brother help you? You even heard my dad yelling about my debt? That's right. You thought you were kicking me out of the wedding, but you basically gave me the best seat in the house. All I had to do was put my ear up against the wall and I could hear everything clear as day. Anyways, I suppose that's really all there is to say about this, yes? Wait, no, please, we're not through here. Well, I'm not sure what else there is to talk about, except of course for the fact that you'll be paying for all of the wedding preparations. And you'll probably have to return all the wedding gifts, too. Hey, Ren. I really just wanted to say again how sorry I am for everything that you had to go through today. I mean, I really just had no idea that Lisa was that bad, you know? How could she have thought that was ever okay? Well, I'm just glad that you realized all of this before the two of you got married. I was wondering how long it was going to take you to realize just the kind of person that Lisa really was. You mean that you've really had your suspicions about Lisa this whole time? Pretty much. I think ever since we first met, she had always acted like she was so much better than me. And I just remember thinking that I couldn't believe that you were really going to marry this woman. I mean, I guess I just assumed that you being a doctor would have given you a better eye for people like her. I see what you mean, but I really did think that she was a sweet girl. She had always been so kind to me. But I just can't believe that you let yourself be insulted and subjected yourself to her treatment of you for, for my sake. Well, you're my brother, and I wasn't going to try and open any can of worms until you found out for yourself. Anyways, I'm just glad that you saw that I did. I guess all's well that ends well, really. You know, this is just another reason why I respect you so much, Ren. You are really a tough person. I really don't think that I could have ever gotten to where I am in life without your help. Yeah, I guess you're right. I am pretty amazing now that I think about it. But don't sell yourself short. After all, it was you doing all the hard work of getting through med school. Ren, thank you so much. I know I don't say it enough. You know, for my speech, I really did want to talk about how proud I am of how hard you worked to achieve your goals. But maybe I'll just hold off on telling exactly what I wanted to say until you find the right person. You're right, but I can't wait to hear that speech. Well, you'll hear it. But just know that you don't have to feel bad for me today. I'm always going to be there for you, no matter what. But that's just why I do feel so bad and why I am so grateful for you. It's no problem at all. I mean, thank you so much for caring about me. I'm glad that after all these years we can still be so close. I mean, you even hung up some of my art as decorations for your wedding. You have no idea how touched I was at seeing that. I really enjoy those drawings and I want you to know that. Even Lisa's guests were all admiring them and wondering about who their artist was. 
So thanks again for letting me hang them up for free. I really appreciate it. But I also really do think that you're just a stellar artist. But you had to pull all of that aside to raise me. Well, it's not like I've completely given up on my dreams of being an artist, you know. Yes, I had to set them aside for more important things, like you, but I still practice every day and I know I'll make it big one day. You don't know how much it means that you just said that to me. I really am so lucky to have you as my sister. Thank you so much for everything today, Ren. I really just can't say that enough. Well, I guess I just have to say that I'm looking forward to the next wedding and hopefully it goes better than this one. Oh, oops, I almost forgot something really important. Really? What is it? Hey Lisa, are you there? I just wanted to have a quick little chat with you. I just thought you should know that you are going to have to pay for the repairs to the dress that I was wearing today. Wait a second, uh, my wedding gets ruined and canceled and you're still going to make me pay? Please, can't we just never ever talk to each other again and leave it at that? Well, I will be more than happy to do that as soon as you pay for the damages to the dress. It was a $5,000 rental, by the way, and if you try and get out of this, I will sue you. Hold on a second. Are you seriously telling me that that dress that you were wearing was $5,000? But you just got it as a prank to pull on me, right? You really paid five grand for that? That's right, but don't worry, I didn't pay that much because I thought you would rip it, though you did. Please, uh, just give me a break. I mean, you probably just want $5,000 from me, don't you? No, this is really just about doing what is right and making sure that you pay for your actions. Wait a second, I remember now. You're that wannabe artist, aren't you? Yeah, I remember your brother crying to me about how it was his fault that you had to quit your dreams. But you know what I think? I think you're nothing but a hack. Your art is terrible, and you never ever stood a chance. You really have no idea what you're talking about. I just wish you knew how foolish you really look right now. You're the one who's foolish. Did you see the art in the wedding hall? It was a beautiful underwater scene. It was what someone like you could never see the value of. Your uneducated brain couldn't begin to understand its significance. Interesting, though, considering that the one who painted that one was me. Wait, what do you mean by that? I don't get it. I mean that Michael asked me if he could display it at his wedding, and I said yes. I actually really like that one as well, so I can't say you have poor taste. Thank you for the compliment, by the way. Wait, you're kidding me. Are you telling me that you were the one who painted that painting? That's right, and I'll be giving you the bill for my dress, by the way. Have a nice life. Wait, no, please, I give, you win, uh, just make it stop. I'll change, we can be friends, please, let's just put this behind us. Wow, you really work fast. The moment that you find out I'm a famous artist, you immediately try to cozy up with me. Though we both know that you had no idea you were actually complimenting me, but you did anyways, so thanks again. No, please don't go, hold on, I can change, I promise. Yeah, that's going to be a no from me, but you go on and have a nice life now. Maybe think about the way you've treated me. Now everyone knows the horrible person that you really are. <coughs> After that, I blocked Lisa on everything and cut all contact with her completely. She was forced to pay for the wedding cancellation fees as well as her debt. Lisa had to take on more debt to pay all of those, and because she had never worked a day in her life, she quickly found herself spiraling financially. She tried to scam her parents to help her, and soon the whole family was in trouble, all because of Lisa's selfishness and recklessness. As for me, after the wedding, I went back to my house and have continued to pursue my dream of being an artist. Next year, my art is going to show up on an exhibition for the first time ever. I'm excited to invite Michael so that then maybe he can not feel so bad about the fact that I had to help raise him. And I'm still looking forward to giving him his wedding speech one day.